this is such a precious moment for me, especially to stand here on behalf of our friends. There's a message from one of our friends, uh, one of uh, Dushi's close friend. Her name is Kumkam. She couldn't be here, so she sent a message. She wrote like this. Hello, pretty little bright douche. I woke up this morning and I remember that today was your wedding. And I was reflecting upon the time we spent together. We were the shortest and the tiniest among our group. And we always wondered whether we will find the perfect love that we dreamt about. We even wrote a song together called His Name is Jesus. And the lyrics goes, They tried to find their prince who would love them just the way they are. And there is a man who loves them endlessly. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Douche, this simple song is playing out in your life right now. God is good. And today he has proven that he cares about our heart's desire. Who knew that God would be so good that he'd bless you with a man so dull, so kind, and so loving. You are so blessed than you could ever imagine. Right now, as I'm writing down this message, I cannot help but cry. I miss you so much, and I'm truly sorry that I could not be there to share your happiness. Douche, continue to leave footprints in the lives of people you met like you have left a big footprint in mine, though you have tiny feet and find it hard to get shoes. She's laughing. Lastly, you look beautiful, douche. I love you. God bless both of you and kisses she sent. Dear Tom, I can't believe the day we have been waiting is already here. We really made it through all the toughest times, lots of attack, mockery, and negative criticism. But here we are today, getting ready to be married. God has been protecting our relationship from the start, and He always will. You are the most caring person I've ever known in my life. I love the way you love my family unconditionally and how you understand us and our culture. You inspire me to be a better person every day, kinder, more patient, most importantly, to walk in the path of Jesus and His teachings. Even though our relationship was mostly a long-distance relationship with different time zones, still, I felt beloved every day. I love you now and I love you always. This love I have for you is not just a feeling, but it's a choice and promise. I choose you now and I choose you every day, over and over again, without a doubt. Your future wife, the almost Mrs. Tushinaro Torbet. Open fields, distant shores, every A letter to the love of my life and my most sweetest to be wife. My dear love, you recently told me that prayer works miracles and that it is the most effective weapon. As you know, after we both prayed for God's will to be done, we met. From the day we met, I felt the Holy Spirit speak to my innermost being that you are the lady I can entrust to my heart too. He showed me that you have a trustworthy heart that I can always rely on. Tushinaro Jamir Ao, you are the lady of my dreams, bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, the lady I want to become one week, and the lady I want to spend the rest of my days with. The happiness, joy, and peace I feel in my heart as I am writing this letter could only have come from Jesus Christ our Lord. I promise to always love you, always forgive you, always be loyal to you. And if I ever do not live up to this standard, you can gently remind me of these promises I make to you today by showing me this letter. Also, I promise to always put you first after our God. You are the most beautiful and the most precious gift God has given me. Officially yours forever in a matter of minutes.
overtaken. overtaken.